So ChatGPT just completely did away with Dolly 3 and invented an entirely new system for generating images. I don't necessarily know what's going on on the back end, but I want to try it with all of you. So let's dive in and see just how useful this is for authors specifically. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Jason Hamilton. I am the nerdy novelist, and this is a channel all about using AI as a creative productivity tool for authors. I have about 18 books published, and uh, before that I was working for Kindlepreneur for three years where I learned a lot about publishing in the whole industry. Uh, so I have an idea of just what actually makes sense rather than just some dude bro telling you that you can uh, use AI to make your uh, whole world a, a big dream fantasy place. So let's talk about how we can practically use a tool like this new image generation tool inside of ChatGPT. So first of all, to access this tool, you all you really need to do is make sure you're using the GPT-40 model. As I understand it, that's how, it's, how it works. And you can just ask it to create an image about anything and it'll understand by the context whether or not you're talking about whether you want an image generated or if you just wanna chat with it. Um, but you can also come here to under view tools and say create image. And then it'll just basically just add create image to the front of your prompt and you just tell it what you want to know. So because this is a channel about authors, let's start by just going over a simple book cover. Uh, so let's do something like, give me an urban fantasy book cover featuring a Hispanic woman with long black hair, a black leather jacket, and holding a samurai sword. There should be a city skyline behind her and magic swirls as is common in an urban fantasy book cover. The color vibe should be purple and gold. Now this is the kind of, this is one of the prompts that I often test these image generating uh, tools with because it has a couple of things that it struggles with like pairing a Hispanic woman with a samurai sword. Very often it'll make it more of an Asian character and often swords are difficult to do. Let's also add text. So uh, let's just make something up. Actually, I think I did something like this. So the book title should be the myth of midas and the book author should be me jason hamilton all right so let's run that and see what it gives us now i will say as this is running this is not a very fast way of generating images and it only does one image at a time so if you really want to get through a whole lot of images then something like ideogram uh or ideogram i don't know how it's supposed to be said uh or mid journey is probably a better bet but it does give us one image here as you can see it's starting to form already and let's see how good it it does and here is the result it gave us and uh, to be honest this is pretty good sometimes i've been able to get results like this out of other tools but uh rarely with just one prompt without doing tons and tons of iteration this is darn good so the only complaint i would have about this is the text is not perfect there are things like, like like the gap here between the and midas it just doesn't quite fit from like a graphic design perspective this of is not aligned with the end of the s here but overall really great now uh, we now one of the nice things about this is that we can actually iterate on this further inside of ChatGPT. And I just noticed that the Samurai Swords handle here is probably a little too long, but we can ask it to make some changes. So I'm gonna start with the text. Change the text to have more of a fantasy vibe and more depth. And make sure it is properly centered and well aligned from a graphic design perspective. Also, the hilt of the sword is too long. Make sure it's shorter, or I'll just say an appropriate length. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to handle like multiple edits in one, uh, but we'll just see how well it does. Okay, so it did give me the character here and I can't really, it, you don't see the handle as much here, but it's definitely still pretty long, but I can tell that it tried. And the text here is smaller. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is better. Uh, in fact, I definitely wouldn't like this, the should be more centered uh, or like off to the side or, or something. Uh, so what we could do, I wouldn't actually recommend using a book cover out of an AI generated uh, image uh, that where the text was generated by the AI. So I would totally just do something different. So sometimes it helps to have the text in the initial prompt because 
for whatever reason, that's, that gets the AI in the right frame of mind for a book cover. And with something like this, we can do something really simple. We can just add, do something like, all right, now give me just the image without the text. And you can tell from this first image to this one, there are some minor differences, but it is pretty close to the original image, just with the changes that I asked for. All right, and here we have the image created and without the text. Now I have noticed just looking at this that the sort of vibrancy of the image has gone down as we've worked on it. Like this first one was a lot more vibrant then this one was a little less so and this one a little less so. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, all in all, this is really great. Again, the handle here is a little too long, but I'm sure we could fix that if I took this into Photoshop or something like that. And that's also where I would add the text uh, if I were to turn this into a book cover. So let's look at another option that authors are going to use pretty commonly, and that is concept art. So I'm going to do this one a little differently to show you a different approach, but let's go ahead and do a new chat. And I'm actually going to enable the voice mode and have a conversation with ChatGPT right now. So let me do that and you'll see what I'm after here. Hello, ChatGPT. I would like to uh, create the physical description of a superhero character from one of my books. If you could just ask me questions and I will answer them so that we can get a very clear picture of who this character looks like. She is female and approximately 18 or 19 years old. I would say average height for a woman her age and relatively lean and, mu and muscular as well, but not like overly jacked. She is blonde. It is straight and hangs down to roughly shoulder height or maybe jaw length. Blue eyes, no particular shape. She is overall a, a girl that is typically in good spirits and brave and courageous but usually has a good attitude about most things even if she's going into danger yes i've already indicated that they are blue yes so it is a white superhero costume with a white cape and kind of a white skirt that goes down to her knees she also has a gold circular emblem in the middle of her chest which looks a little bit like the Avengers logo, except instead of a circle with an A in it, it's an A and an F, kind of stylized in the center. She also has red guards on her arms, arm guards, and red boots, and her belt is a gold color. No mask, gloves, or gadgets. She does have a golden ring on one finger. Now, any good superhero pose would be fine. All right, so I've done a decent job of describing this character. I hope you were able to hear all of that, but we've got a whole bunch of details here. Now, all I'm going to do is say, now give me a image of this character. Make it photorealistic. And hopefully this works. I don't actually know if it will. Guys, okay, I am genuinely impressed here. This is my character. Uh, first of all, the photorealism is amazing, uh, way better than anything that Dolly ever created. Uh, but also, I'm really impressed with this gold crest in the center. I asked for a sort of a stylized A and F in an Avengers kind of like logo, but with an A and an F. That is exactly the the exact logo. Like it, it is, it hit it spot on. I even commissioned this logo uh, a while back. And uh, it is pretty much exactly that, what you see there. And you can see this artwork that I commissioned from an actual artist a while back has, you know, it's a little bit more stylized and crude, but it had that same logo there on her chest, as you can see it. And this character, what you see here is pretty much the same as this character. The hair is the correct length. The arm, Well, these arm guards could maybe be a little bit more armor-ish. And I think the cape could maybe go a little bit lower, but all in all, this is fantastic. I've tried to create this character in other image generating platforms and they do okay, but I've never seen it do this good of a job with this amount of detail. So really hats off to ChatGPT and the new image system because that was pretty impressive. Uh, now, just for time, I can't go into too many other options. But I do want to kind of showcase just what this can do, uh, including text. You can put whole sentences into this thing and have it accurately render that text. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my books and we're just going to select like the first paragraph uh, here and go back to, to ChatGPT and say, I want you to create a promotional image for a YA fantasy Arthurian book that includes the following text. And then I'll just, in quotes, include that little bit there. Make the background appropriate for a fantasy type promotional image, but not enough that it overpowers the text, something like that. And we'll go ahead and hit go. And here it goes. Uh, so it did give us a kind of a appropriate fantasy background. Not much going on there, but that's fine because this is meant to really showcase the text here. And it got the whole text. And it even formatted it, I think, in a, in a way that makes sense. It had the hook, the early sentence here, the, the first sentence uh, that needed a little bit more prominence. It made it a little larger here. And then the rest is formatted here. Again, uh, some things don't quite add up. Like if I were to create this in Photoshop, some of like where things get aligned and where the line breaks happen and all of that is not quite there. But the fact that it's able to get the entire thing accurately in one image is pretty impressive. So I think there's definitely potential to use this for marketing purposes, to create little cards or things you can post on social media that would be interesting to people. Uh, and certainly it, there's definitely potential in the way you're able to give it specific instructions. It can definitely follow it directions very, very well. Uh, it can add text of pretty much whatever you want it to. The only thing that I worry about is getting it to do like, you know, if you need like a series of things, like a series of book covers that are all the same style uh, and has the same character faces and stuff like that. Uh, I know you can upload things and ask it to use the same face and stuff like that. But uh, who knows? Who knows? I'm sure we'll, we'll figure out something. Uh, but anyway, I hope this has been a useful introduction to you. Uh, let me know if you want to see me go a little bit more in depth here and what you would like me to test on this and how you would, uh, you know, what are the use cases that you could see us using for this thing? Now, if you want to know a little bit more, I actually have a guy who is uh, specializes in AI art, understands AI art better than I do. He is in my paid membership that you can go to and he does classes every single week to help you master all of these AI art tools for your author business. And so there's lots of good stuff that he gets into there. Uh, not only are we talking about AI art, but he also recently did some instructions about maps and how to create maps and different tools to help you out with that, AI and not AI. Um, and so definitely check out the membership if you're interested in knowing more about this and all the things that you want to know about AI art, uh, as well as other things. We have a developmental editor in there. I'm in there talking AI and other things. So if you want to know more about that, go check the link down below, and I will see you in the next video.